It is currently 6.42 in the morning. I'm running off four and some change, hours of sleep. And uh, I, I heard there was, a, there was a Final Fantasy 16 gameplay. If you know me, you know I've been waiting on some Final Fantasy 16 gameplay. So it don't matter what time it drops. We're covering it, bro. I got me a blueberry bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese with a green passion smoothie, bro. We here, bro. We here. Now, let's get into this motherfucking review. All right, let's just get it. Let's just get it done, bro. This presentation is 25 minutes, but don't worry. I'm chopping this up. Hello, everyone. This is Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16, and welcome to the State of Play. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story. World. Can we talk about his jacket first? That jacket is drip. Oh, my God, bro. Where I get one? Somebody holler at man's for me, bro. Tell him, hook me over the jacket. And combat system of Final Fantasy 16, as well as reveal all new information regarding the game's wide variety of RPG elements and support systems. We'll be talking you through everything while using never before seen gameplay footage running on the PlayStation 5. Love it. I hope you'll stay with us until the end of the show and enjoy everything we have in store for you. With that, let's get started. know the target Shiva's dominant and only the dominant focus Wyvern you are key to this mission success there's got to be the trailer thought oh, is epic as music in the background yes, Sergeant. I'm messing with the fit I said focus Wyvern oh this gameplay Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy mm. 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a story franchise with 35 Hold years on, of bro. History. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. With a I like the combat. Real-time action and RPG features. Final Fantasy 16 has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. He was using magic. Using the power of the PlayStation 5. But kind of underwhelming, but the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience, which we liken to a high-speed roller coaster. Wait, is this roller. like is that gameplay like? You get to play that? Oh, these are summons. Yeah, these are the summons. Is that different? My boy looking different these days. Hold on, bro. Bro, this combat is next level. If that's a boss, bro looks sweet. So does that, whatever that is. Oh yeah, it is different. My boy looking different. Ugh. What is that? Oh yeah, this game is gonna be sick, bro. Hey yo, what's winning game of the year, bro? This or uh the the new uh Zelda jump? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. The protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield, and his journey takes place in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life, his teens, twenties, and thirties. My boy taking punishment the early, pause. begins with Clive in his 20s, 
a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. Oh yeah, this world is huge, you can already tell. And it actually seems like pretty open world. Compared to like how, um, like, I don't know if you remember like the, the 7 remake. Everybody that played the 7 remake, like it, it felt open, but not really open. But this one feels like an open world RPG. Like you can go wherever, side quests, stuff like that. But let me run this back because it looked like my boy is about to turn up. And uh, can't miss that. Hold on. Oh, is that an execution? Oh. Well, my boy is the Phoenix. Judge you out. Hey, that's not. Oh my goodness. I like the change that they did to Ifrit, bro. Ooh, talk to me, skill trees. Navigation in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map, with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. Oh, this like reminds me of 15, bro, which I still have to go and finish, by the way. I still haven't finished Final Fantasy 15. I know, sad, right? Here, players will meet new friends, encounter formidable foes, and uncover great and wondrous I'm mysteries. dropping shit. And, side note, but it looks like you can actually change your character's fit, bro. My man it had on like four different fits already. Attention to detail, bro, I love that. It's not an RPG unless I can change my outfit, bro. And that sword on his back is clean. One of many, I'm assuming, but unless you just keep the same sword the whole game. Bro, the side quests on this game are going to be crazy. Like what? Look at the world. Yeah, the side quests are going to be wild. Destructible environments. Where is he? Like... Mm-hmm. Talk to me. I'd like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy VI. Ah! I love this. I love this UI. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. We up to level 30. To admire Clive in action. Yeah, whoever y'all got playing is nice, bro. Look at him. Oh my god! Ooh! Hey, bro. Oh, yeah. Bro, look at the magic. And then everything combos into each other seamlessly. Oh, my. Bro, the dodging is on point. I haven't seen him parry, but, like... That doesn't even matter. I'm pretty sure there's some form of parrying or blocking, I'm sure. That looks like a limit break. Oh yeah, bro, they were in their bag. 
They were in their bag with this one. And the craziest thing about all of this, bro, is that every single attack is different. I, I've only seen him use the same attack like two or two times. Every single attack that he's using is a different fucking attack, bro. Every combo looks different, feels different, hits different. Oh my. I'm like genuinely impressed. I'm not going to cap. Then this man got a command may have blast like the abilities that Clive wields have unique characteristics depending on the icon they are derived from. Players okay. can use ability points collected by defeating enemies to unlock more abilities or upgrade existing ones. Thank you. All you gotta do is beat enemies to upgrade. Love it. Can't decide which iconic ability to unlock or upgrade. No problem. You can let the game choose for you. That's never, that's never as fun. Final Fantasy 16 includes a range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled. Stop. Award it. Wait, hold on. Ring of Timely Evasion. Fleetness of foot requires lightning quick reflexes, eagle like vision, and razor sharp focus, not to mention. Okay, whatever. When equipped. Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. Excuse me? I guess this is for, um, like he was saying. Action games, bringing them a truly yeah. enjoyable experience. New to action games. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own play style. A combination auto evading attacks would mess me up but i guess some people might like it gameplay is the ring of timely focus and the ring of timely strikes this combination allows players to unleash a wide array of different techniques just by pressing a single attack button as well as shifting into a window of slow motion but like just look look how crazy the attack like them a little extra time everything just looks so innovative. fluid so nice it, the hard attacking the hard attacks hit hard the soft attacks are soft you can feel the weight i really encourage everyone but i'm not even playing that works best for them and for those who want to concentrate on the story don't forget to choose story focus mode before starting a new game for whoever cares, bro, my final thoughts are going to be at the end of the video. Just, you know, just throwing that out there. Just in case you want to skip through the video and then you just want to hear my thoughts if you already saw the state of play. But, I mean, I would stay so you can, so you can catch my, my raw reactions. But if you don't want to see all that, my thoughts are at the end. Thanks for watching. In this mode, timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. Mm. All right, they got the game performance setting. I love seeing that now, bro. I love being able to see graphics and performance next to each other. Clive will meet many characters along his journey who will join him as friends and allies. Okay, so we still do get the build a little team. This place, these are fallen ruins. Well. Hey, it's Hodor. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill, a friend from Clive's youth. It really is Such me. encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive. It look like something out of a movie. His companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures. Oh, boss fight. And finding lots to talk about along the way. That said, players will only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. Oh, uh, I kind of wanted to play as the other characters, but I mean, it's cool.
Hmm. Working is a. Uh... Wait, is that uh Isis or what? What's her name? It's Isis, right? The ice lady. And we cannot forget Torgo. Yes, uh, strong and fiercely loyal hound. Torbal is always we get a pet Torbal. I'm renaming him, bro. Cruel fate may befall them. His name Torbal ain't no damn Torbal no more. Own accord, but players can also give him direct commands. Bro, I'm in love with this combat, bro. To give this good boy some treats every now and then. I hope you can change like his color and stuff. Goots. Get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Boy, who is voicing this guy? Go. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. This boy... After Sorry, this man again, has, a, has a very distinctive has voice, bro. I need to I see this, man. Your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Aretis Stone. The huh? The Aretis. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Oh boy! Once you're confident in your skills, are you kidding me? I'm about to spend hours in here. See how your scores stack up against players from around the world. Away is home to a lot of other features as well. Oh, bro, they said we don't want y'all playing another game. Got it. Got it. Because I'm not. <laughs> what? Mid. When did you get back? I know her name is not Mid. I just know it's not Mid. Visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks. Fearsome foes lurking about the realm in desperate need of slaying. The a bounty board. And there will be fast traveling, no long ass car rides. That thing looks fucking <laughs> creepy, bro. I love this screen, though. There's also Lorsman Harpocrates. Who will unlock Valisthea's secrets. That makes me think that there's going to be of his adventures. like special bounties or something, maybe. Like you might get some special ones. I have quite the find for you today. You can study. For another of my lectures. Oh, you can get and deep into the. Oh, okay, a Vivian. Strategist who will be more than happy to explain to Clive the current okay, state Vivian. of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway. Are we getting deep in the lore? Even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy 16. Whoa, 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 hold on. What was that? What was that? This is a situation map. What? Year of the realm, present day. Do you do we get to attack? Hold on. Players get even more enjoyment out of. Do we get to play through this? I wonder. Do you get? It doesn't look like there's anything. It doesn't look like you can play through it on the screen. Like you play if you can play through past wars, that would be crazy. Look at all the destinations. No wonder this joint took so long to come out. On his travels, Clive will <laughs> it's big as hell. Wide array of fearsome foes. Morbol. Who that? Knight of the Blinding Dawn. Oh yeah, mix them up, Clive. Mix them up, baby. Oh my goodness. Fafnir. Bro, the combat is just it's 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 so addicting. Uh, ooh. Oh, you got a mash. You got a mash. You got a mash. 
Ooh. Get him off you, Clive. What was bro doing the whole time? He was just watching. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that did a lot of damage, boy. Oh, so they have special moves they can hit you with as well. Geo Crush. Clash with the dominance who wield the power of the icons. The icons. Like the elements, I'm assuming. That's what he means. Bro, I'm sorry. Colossal beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. A Kashic dragon. Mysterious constructs of the fallen. A civilization shrouded in mystery. Some Zelda shit. Oh, we love bosses that don't stack. <laughs> Liquid flame? What the hell? My man is fighting fire. There's no way. Oh, that looks hot. Oh, this boss, this boss battle right here looks annoying as shit. It looks annoying. He can turn into what is that? His name is Barnabas. There's a road over here called St. Barnabas. These boss fights look crazy good. Oh my. Bro, I'm love they're showing us whole sequences right now like the icons themselves. Experience unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. Oh, limit break? That's the limit break right there. The shining point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. Icon versus icon battles. Ooh. The icon of fire versus Phoenix. I don't know. Whoever whoever playing this has got These epic confrontations Oh, that's cheating. He just got all his health back. Players to control but it is a Phoenix. Icon with their own hands. Oh, bro, these fights look wild. Oh, that's Garuda? These battles differ. To this music better be playing during these fights, too. I just want to say, like, I, I hope they are. I hope this, this crazy music that you hear in the background is playing throughout the entire fight, bro. No cap. Depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battlefield. Bahamut. These massive scale boss battles are Bruh. entirely seamless, and I can promise you heart stopping, controller gripping excitement. I can't wait for you to get your hands Boy, on the game for yourself. Controller gripping is not even the word. This is crazy looking. I have never seen a game do nothing like this, bro. Outside of Final Fantasy itself. And like, I guess, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Nice trick. L like the seamless transitions between. So could I. You've learned Brimstone. You're learning moves during the fight. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm already addicted, bro. I'm not even playing right now, but I want to I want to play this right now. I need to know the date. I need to know the release date. Like, where are they? They're just in a void somewhere, just fighting. What is that, Typhon? He's a floating body. He don't have no legs. 
And the wildest part, bro, is they have so many boss fights that they've shown in this, this video, and I know there's way more. Seamless from cinematic to gameplay. Man's is kicking debris out of the air, dodging debris. Video like pause for a second. I'm Ooh. The stagger animation looks so hot. Seamless again. Cinematic to gameplay. Casually just slice bro and have did two million damage. So everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide June 22nd. And there's still plenty that we've left to reveal. Battle content, side content, end game content, and more. We hope to June 22nd? <laughs> All right, but anyways, 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 my final thoughts on the game. Well, what I just saw, bro, listen, listen, and I'm going to keep this brief. Combat, 10 out of 10. It looks 10 out of 10, right? It looks like this, it's going to be heavily story driven with a lot of side quests. It's like um, reminiscences of Final Fantasy 15. If anybody played 15, there's a lot to do in the game, right? And I love that game. I just never finished it because they took it off Game Pass. <laughs> but bro yeah i listen that looks amazing bro and heavily off not even really off topic bro but on topic game developers this is what we're talking about bro take your time making the game take your times making the game because then it's gonna come out like final fantasy 16 like look do you see that i know we all saw we all saw that right we all saw that? Y'all back there? You? You seen that, right? You see, Bro, the combat looks crisp. The character models look crisp. The abilities and stuff look crisp. The UI looks crisp. The um pause menu, crisp. They have a training room, crisp. They have everything that you need. Cosmetics, there. Different weapons, there. Different characters, there. Waifus, there. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I think it's a no-brainer. You already know how I feel about this game, bro. You already know how I feel about this game. Listen. Listen. June 20th, when this shit drop, we on that. We on that. Stream, we on that. When it drops, we on that. So June 20th, listen, whenever you're seeing this video, it might be past June 20th. It might be on June 20th. You never know. Pull up to the stream because I guarantee you I'm live right now playing the game. But anyways, bro, I don't know. This, 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 oh, actually I do know. This game is, this game is going to be great. Turn it off. This game is going to be great. Thank y'all for watching, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I love doing these uh raw reaction videos, bro. Uh, shout out Mike. He told me the the, the state of play was today. Uh, um, love you. Thanks for watching.